welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the question following the string on code forces so the problem states that polycar plus the string s of length n consisting of lower case latin letters but he still has its tree the trace of the string s is an array a of n integers where ai is the number of such indices j j less than i that si equal to sj for example the trace of the string a b r a c a d a b r a is the array 00010023114 so let's first understand what they mean by trace so so yeah let's understand the trace of the array so suppose i have trace of 001 triple zero one which means any one of the character is repeating twice that's why we have one so if i take any string let's say a b c because i have zero 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 so none of them are repeated and then we have one so any one of them can be repeated suppose i have c to be repeated now i have again zero which means a new string new character so let me put d here and then i have two which means a char which is repeated two times so that is c so i will put c so that it is repeated three times so it has the frequency of zero one two now next i have again zero so a new char so i put e in three i again put c now again it comes one one means whichever is having zero it should be repeated so i have a b d e so i can put any one of them let's put e here so i put e here again we have one again we need to choose but now we are left with options of a b and d because c and e are already having frequency greater than 0 here frequency 0 means 1 frequency is actually frequency minus 1 so now you have 1 so at 1 let me place d here and then i have 4 so already three times i have c So at four also I place three and this becomes my string. So in this string, how it is done? A, B, R are non-repetitive. Here none of them are repeated. Then for one, at one you see A is repeated. At zero you put C because it is not there in the string. At two. you put again a then at 0 you put d then at 3 you again put a and so on so you can form the string like this now we are given the trace of string and we need to find any such string s from which it could have been obtained and remember that string s contains only letters a to z now our input is t the number of test cases and it contains n the length of the lost string second line contains the array of zero ones that is the trace of the string and it is guaranteed that for each trace there exists a string s so valid answer always exists we can have multiple answers so we can output any one of them as discussed above i created a string that was different from the string given in the test case so for the first one this is the same as above so this is the string now here 1 2 3 4 5 5 of them are different so 5 of them are different here now any one is repeated so they have repeated o 
then different so r as r is different from whole of the cat which are placed before now again one so any one needs to be repeated which was not repeated before so they put c again the same so they put e and for zero s so like this any string can come now in case all of them are zeros then it's obvious that it can have all different cats and in case where we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so it means the string is having repeated cats so first is a then we need length two so double a like this we go on till length of eight so the idea is very simple so what you can do is just take a string initially let it be the result string and be empty first of all then take array of counting which is initialized as 0 26 now what you need to do for each element in trace you will have a character added starting from a and the character after adding that care the count for that care will be incremented to get the updated count so for a suppose the count is incrementing and then we will store the result as result plus equal to that care so what's happening here is suppose i take the case of zero 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 so as the count is zero so my so first of all i find zero as index of at count the zero is at index of zero so i have zero plus the odd value of a small a so the odd of a is taken odd of small a and this thing will be converted to character so the character gives a now for the second zero we have now this zero this zero came from the count so my count of zero will be updated to one as it's already taken into account so like this you will be updating the count array and to understand it more better let's uh, look at the c plus uh, python code so in this code as you see uh, we are updating the count array so we are taking the index of i at count so i will so i have written here count i and result so for first index that is zero our count is zero and then the result would be a because zero plus a is a and then count is updated here count is updated to 1 for 0 index like this now here the string is formed as count dot index i which means 1 2 these are added to a which gives rise to b and c now at la at third index when you find count dot index of i for i in trace 
so as we have trace of zero triple zero one so i find count dot index i which means at count where is the index of zero so it is first at zero so we have zero now count is incremented to one again we find where is the index of zero for the next zero but here i am writing count side by side so initially my count is zero 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 for all but after adding a my count here becomes one so where it is zero next at this index so at index one which gives rise to i equal to 1 and gives us result as a b now this also becomes 1 next also becomes 1 similar now count where index is 1 so it first occurs at this position which is index 0 so here we have 0 and we the string will be formed as a b c a so with this approach now here the count is updated to 2 so like this we will be moving on with the approach and getting our solution so i hope you all understand the solution thanks for watching